I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC. I'm at TPM 2016 with John Slangerup, CEO of the Port of Long Beach. Thanks for joining me today, John. Good to be here with you. The port certainly finished 2015 on a high note. 5.4% growth in containers. How did you turn the year around from where we were uh, last February with yeah. West Coast Ports? What a difference a year makes, huh? A year ago we were talking about epic congestion, now we're talking about free flow and goods moving very, very well. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a team effort all the way across the supply chain. Um, and, and, you know, you can't ever uh, imagine the complexity involved in trying to fix things until you get involved on a multifaceted supply chain like we have. But, uh, you know, the teams came together, we worked uh, as teams, uh, we addressed uh, a lot of the immediate short-term stuff. Biggest thing was the chassis problem. We fixed that really quickly. Uh, it's still not perfect, but it's so much better. Uh, and, and the volumes kept coming. The thing that was so gratifying to me was the fact that not only did the volumes come roaring back, because we had very serious negative double-digit first quarter of 2015, and we ended up with very strong, in fact, some record quarters as it, uh, as it went on. But we also gained market share. And that, to me, was the real uh, indicator that volume was back, that the diverted freight uh, that had gone elsewhere by necessity had come back, and that shippers want to come through our gateway. What about the supply chain optimization initiative? How did that factor into the year? That was really a key tactic um, that we engaged uh, in response to the congestion problem. Uh, we, we knew that um, we could recover, and we did quickly. I mean, it, it, we thought it was going to take us, you know, three months or longer to recover from the backlog, but it took us six weeks, which by itself was remarkable. But that was uh, really not the answer. The answer was that we really have to focus on long-term permanent fixes across the entire supply chain. It is such an integrated uh, system, yet in many ways very fragmented. So we went into the process and, and we brought, of course, Long Los Angeles into the mix because we, we do so much together as a, as a gateway that uh, we, we, we put together working groups, we addressed all the core areas, uh, you know, rail, uh, uh, terminal operations, uh, uh, information management, uh, uh, what we call KPIs or key performance indicators. All of these things were uh, missing or communications weren't integrated. And I can tell you without a doubt that this year, this last year, last 12 months, have been remarkable from the standpoint of cooperation and collaboration. And that's across all stakeholder groups. And now the big ships are arriving. Benjamin Franklin just came to Long Beach this month. How are, how's that going? Well, you know, we were, uh, it was a test, right? I mean, uh, everybody said, oh, big ships, you know, nobody's ready on the West Coast. Well, we've had the Benjamin Franklin to the complex now twice with great success. You know, three of our harbors, three of our terminal operations are totally uh, big ship ready. And so we proved it. We uh, brought, brought that uh, fantastic 18,000 TU vessel in support, uh, handled it uh, beautifully on both uh, LA side and our side. Uh, and that has uh, kind of changed the perception a little bit that West Coast is ready because we are ready. And uh, that's, that's uh, uh, going to play out over the coming years uh, seriously as more and more of these large vessels come this way. It's a uh, uh, the, the Trans-Pacific trade lane is, I guess at this point in time, the least unprofitable lane. <laughs> Not the most profitable, but the least unprofitable lane. Uh, and as a result, um, the, there's a pull to bring the larger vessels here to the West Coast because we have such a tremendous percentage of the volume going into the interior of the U.S. So I don't see it changing. I see it happening and we're ready. That's a great start to 2016. It has been. Thanks for speaking with me today. Thank you very much. Good to see you. I've been speaking with John Slangerup, CEO of the Port of Long Beach.